from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. How you doing? The kids have come to play today. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. With all due respect, have several seats. My girls are always turned out. I give it to you straight, no chaser. very Stepford wife. So let's get started. It's time for Hot show quickly because I've got a pie in the oven. <laughs> the children are bathed and my husband will be home in two hours. <laughs> oh gosh. Listen, I'm excited for today's show. Our longtime friend Bellamy Young from Scandal is here. Yep. And we're gonna chat and then we're gonna put her in the hot seat. So stick around. Also, we're gonna be calling our first uh, contestant in Wendy's Vacation Giveaway. Yeah. Somebody's going to Mexico. It might as well be you. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so the beehive has found its latest victim and that's Iggy Azalea. Oh. Well, you know, in Beyonce's song, uh, Lemonade, she says, Becky with the good hair. And I said earlier this week, Becky is not a nice term. Um, I, I find it offensive, you know, for you white women uh, to be, to... <laughs> no, I do. If you called me Shaniqua, I'd punch you in the face, okay? <laughs> so don't call, like, like, Becky? She finds it offensive, uh, this uh, Iggy Azalea and the beehive swarmed. <laughs> they said Iggy was calling Beyonce a racist. Oh. Uh, which, that's a bit much. Maybe less than smart for using that word, but not a racist. So um, Iggy then retaliated on Beyonce and the Beehive, and here's what she said. <laughs> no, I don't think Beyonce is racist, nor do I think calling someone Becky is the same as a racial slur. Um, I don't think it's great to use stereotypical names to describe any race. Wendy will... <laughs> Wendy Williams made the same point, directed at bay, at bay, and no one cared. It's because they love to hate me. No, I don't think it's because they love to hate you, Iggy. Honestly, I, I feel like a lot of people don't understand what Becky is, you know? Becky is, to me, a slur against, you know, white women. And um, if I were you all, I wouldn't take it. Yeah. I wouldn't. Today. Yeah, I was gonna say, get out of my head, Suzanne. I, I was thinking the same thing. You white. are really white today. I can't get any whiter. I love it. So you use the curling iron and everything? Yes, yes, yes. Nice, Thank Suzanne. You. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> well, Iggy also said, don't call Asian women Ming Lee or black women Shanene. I'm on that page too. Like, wrong. <laughs> on a side note, 
Iggy uh, saved her fiance, Nick Young, from making a huge, stupid mistake. Oh. Rebel is spelled wrong. Oh. Like, I, um, I, uh, first of all, this whole tattoo, the born, the rebel, it, it's an ugly tattoo. But by rebel being spelled wrong, says duh to the tattoo artist, <laughs> and double duh to another athlete who oftentimes athletes get stereotyped as being duh. <laughs> so Iggy stopped him, and uh, they are back together, and, uh, Iggy, just don't involve me with the, the fights, okay? <laughs> I, I don't care. <clears throat> so, more about Prince? Aww. Well, gotta keep you updated. So now his sister, Tyka, will likely be in charge of his, um, what they say are $350 million estate. Some people are saying $150 million. He wasn't really good with money. He didn't trust lawyers and people and stuff, which is why they say he didn't have a will. He didn't trust people. Yeah. Anyway, more information is coming about, uh, uh, along about Tyka. Because now I want to know more. Yeah. Okay. I thought she was his older sister, because Prince was 57. But Tyka is 55. Whoa. Hard living. <laughs> no, no, I mean this in, in, in a sentimental way. She's a recovering crack addict oh. who also prostituted to support her six children. Oh. Prince put her in rehab and then eventually finagled for her to get in the studio and make an album. It's somewhere out there in the blogosphere, Tyka's album. You know, we all have somebody in our family who, uh, who um, has gone through it, but this woman seems like a good woman now, you know? Just cause she fell down doesn't mean she's not standing tall now. <laughs> <clears throat> and, When I brought it up in my Hot Topics meeting, I said, well, this is like, kind of like Mariah Carey and her sister. And so the Bureau told me, well, it turns out Mariah and Prince were really good friends on behalf of supporting each other because of their sisters. Aww. And, you know, going through things and wanting things and whatnot, you know, um, you know, while Tyga, Tyga was busy, you know, in the streets, Prince was amassing his millions, millions, but at what point do you say to your sibling who might have money, <clears throat> or does your sibling with money say to you, I can't keep you. You've got to do this on your own. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's gotta be tough. It's gotta be tough. Anyway, Prince also has a half brother who went to Vietnam and has been institutionalized for years. So he had seven siblings all together. Tyka was his only one with the same mom and dad. Everybody else was a half. Then two of them passed away. Um, one is, you know, um, in the, um, you know, living facility. And then he has four out um, who are half. Prince's half brother, Omar, <laughs> showed up in court when the judge declared that Prince had no will and that Tyka would be the, you know, executor to everything. But you know, Omar is probably sitting back there. I don't know that he smokes, but I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna act this out for you, okay? <sighs> Smoking that Newport down to the nub. <laughs> <sighs> After the judge says Tyka was the boss in my mind, he immediately followed her out of the courtroom. Uh, Tyka, Tyka, <laughs> Tyka, let me talk to you. Tyka, Tyka. <laughs> now you know, um, <clears throat> these stories that keep going on, such as the Prince story, you guys, you know, I report because I have to every time something develops. So you have to understand that it's not gonna be peaches and cream for Tyka because eventually the other four or five, including the one who's, you know, living in the facility, 
the, the other five siblings, in my mind, they're gonna do exactly what family does a lot of times. Jump up, sue Tyka, and want more than she's willing to split. Oh. Estate tax is a fortune, so you have to understand, first they have to pay a fortune to Minneapolis, and then the rest of the drama will ensue, and I'm obsessed with following this story for you, so I will. <laughs> yes. Ryan Gosling oh. is desperately trying to convince Ava Mendez to get married. Oh. See, this is so refreshing, because usually it's women. <laughs> We're so pressed. But this time, nope. Not the modern day Raquel Welsh. <laughs> she... They've been together for five years. She's always, always said, I don't wanna get married and I don't want children. But she's expecting their second child. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's gonna be a pretty baby, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, I, okay, so she changed her mind about having um, children and you know, expecting their second. Personally speaking, as a woman, I think I think that Ryan needs to stop pressuring her and just let nature take its course. Cause you know the first day you sit in the pickup line for your kids and then they come over to you, and you know, the teacher and Mrs. Gosling, you know, here's Junior. And she says, no, 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 it's Mendez. <laughs> you know, I don't know about you. I hate to be left out of a movement. If you're a hunter, I'm a hunter. We're all hunters, okay? Um, Plus, as you get older, you realize that even though marriage is antiquated, in my mind, um, and, and will be ruled out in about 50 years, you know, um, I do feel like as people, men and women get older, they start to see a good reason for being married. They're all kind of benefits. I can't think of them right now. <laughs> I'll get back to you. But they're all kind of benefits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ava, 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 I love you like cooked food. Do you remember when you were on our show and you talked about marriage and stuff? Yeah, she's a good girl and she knows it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she told me on the show that she, they don't even have a nanny. Like she's all hands on and she loves turbans and stuff. And she's got her clothing line. And she just, she just does it right. How gorge. Yeah. Mm. So you knew it wouldn't take long for Leonardo to move on. Aww. Well, he's only been dating, they call it dating. You know, what I call it is hanging out with. <laughs> this model named Chelsea for two weeks. So now he's moved on to another. So Chelsea, uh, step aside. <laughs> Let me introduce you to his new fling. She's a model, of course. Say hello to Roxy Horner. Yay! Now, Leo is 41 years old. Uh, the old girlfriend was uh, 19, this girl. Okay, so this one's a little long in the tooth. <laughs> Cause she's 24. Oh. <laughs> um, I feel like he's, you know, he's living his life. I think that when he goes to parties, he just sits on his perch and waits to see who he wants to go home with. And also, like when you're a celebrity and you have a publicist, when you're opening magazines or watching TV, all you have to do, it's so easy, you guys. You call your publicist and, publicist and say, bring. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pick up the new Glamour magazine, turn to page 24. <laughs> Look at the girl in the upper right hand corner. <laughs> I want her. <laughs> By five o'clock. <laughs> right? So, and where will he be when he's 70 years old? I think he'll be like Jack Nicholson. 
Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I'm not talking about in a bad way. I'm talking about in a playboy way. You know what I'm saying? Jack still gets girls. Be clear, okay? <laughs> so cute. Oh, Leah, what a mess. All righty. So, um, Joe Jonas Ooh. is throwing shade, not so subtle, at his ex-girlfriend, Gigi Hadid. Oh. Well, they were boyfriend and girlfriend, but now she's with Zayn Malik. Yeah. Oh my gosh, who was that boy bander? Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love my people. In a recent interview, Joe said that he was shocked that Gigi got with Zayn right after they broke up. But what I say is, what are you supposed to do when you break up with someone? If you're young and you have no kids, you're supposed to be living and having fun. That's it. So now, Joe says, oh wait, hold on. He goes, I think it's interesting that she moved on so quickly. It's comical that I'm compared to him. To be honest, I haven't really listened to his music. Okay. I don't believe that part. Because I think, I think that when your ex moves on, you spend a particular amount of time haunting and searching the person that they're with to see what they're all about. You're very high school, but we all do it. <clears throat> The bad part is that Zayn and Joe used to be friends. Aww. I know, that's kind of bad. But all these Hollywood people, they all mess around with each other. So, it, you know, I've just gotten used to everybody having the same trickle. Yes. <laughs> By the way, Zayn, in our Hot Topics morning meeting, there was a room full of producers and stuff and me. Uh, you won the Who'd You Rather contest. Just saying. Anyway, uh, good luck, Joe. You won't have difficulty finding another one. In the meantime, oh, I hear maracas. Ow! That means it's time for Wendy's vacation giveaway. Bring out the island. Come on, Suzanne. Get to work, Dave. Wait, hold on, oh. hold on. Yeah. What'd you call me? Oh, Mrs. Wendy. Yes. <laughs> Jack, we've talked about this several times mm -hmm. as we've known each other before today. This is Suzanne and Brendan's son, Jack. He's the oldest. Yeah! And yes, it is bring your kids to work day. So it's nice to have you here, young man. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's time to meet today's contestant. Let's get him on the phone. Suzanne is a real ham. I real ham. I love it. Hello? Hello? How are you doing, Kathy from Kentucky? It's me, uh, Wendy. This is Wendy? Yes! Ah! Hi, Kathy! Oh my God! <laughs> really? Kathy, you're today's yes. contestant on Wendy's Vacation Giveaway. Yeah! Oh have you oh been watching God. our show every day on WTVQ? Yes. Perfect. Let's find out what you're playing for, okay, Kath? Suzanne, okay. Jack, spin the umbrella. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Kathy, you're yes. playing for Beach Palace in Cancun. Yes. Mr. Oh Mr. Oh Mr. Mr. Announcer, tell her all about it. 
You're playing for a five-day, four-night vacation at the all-inclusive Beach Palace in Cancun, Mexico. We'll fly you and a guest to this gorgeous property by Palace Resorts, featuring lavish swimming pools with two on the rooftop that include swim-up bars. You are in trouble. Okay, uh, Kathy, listen closely because you're gonna have 15 seconds to answer correctly, okay? Okay. All right, were you watching yesterday? Yes, sir, I watched. Well, during Hot Topics, we inducted a celebrity, a new one, into our fall of shame. Name the celeb. 15 seconds on the clock and go! Uh, that was Zach Efron. Yes! You're going! Yay, Kathy, have fun on your vacation. Thank you for watching, bye-bye. Log on to my Facebook page to enter and make sure that you watch our show every day, every nuance, because we might be calling you next.